Welcome back to my Secret Room series, guys. Let's do Secret Room 4, which is, drumroll, Lizardmen. Okay, epic Lizardmen. We're definitely going to need more than this. Although Venomage might be able to solo on her own. This is, this is going to be a challenging one, come to think of it. So we're going to need him as a reviver. Uh, we'll need some support. And whose aura do we want? HP, 33% in all battles. That's really good for an epic. So we'll use Jareg's aura. And we'll just go ahead with it. I don't even think we need to do this manually. Maybe we do. We do have a couple of revivers in the team. It's going to be kind of a pain. But I'm just going to let it run on auto. Uh, and this way, I can I can talk about things as they happen while uh, while things are actually happening, rather than me trying to make decisions. So I'm going to highlight one of the two broad maws because they are going to have to go down first. Until they go down, we're not going to make any progress. We do have uh, healing reduction coming from Venomage. Venomage is is maybe one of the MVP epics of the game. So if you don't have Venomage. I'm not entirely sure how you would tackle this stage. I don't exactly have um, epic nukers in that faction. I have some legendaries who are reasonably good. I have um, a token rare. There's even Saurus, who's an uncommon who can be built to do a lot of damage in an AoE on every turn. But uh, by the time you're getting to the hard secret rooms, I, I, don't, I don't know that I would advise that. There's um, there's always my my general strategy, which is to use a um, crowd controller. If you if you don't have really good nukers that get you through fast, and honestly, outside of Seer, uh, or or maybe a Taras, maybe a, I don't know a Baron, or some other really crazy uh, high damage nuker, you are probably going to need some crowd control. So. If you don't have anybody that has crowd control in their kit normally, then a good way to try to handle that is to put somebody with an area of effect attack in a stun set. I'm, I'm probably going to repeat myself throughout the series. If you happen to be just tuning in for this one secret room, I wanted to make sure that was in there. It's always an option. So if you have nothing but... Uh, let's say you have champions that maybe have an AoE, like um, Skavix here on the end. He's a good cleanser, uh, and it's nice to have a cleanser in the party. He can even place block debuffs. That's that's important for us as well. But he's got that AoE, the, 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 the fishy thing that just popped out. It's got kind of a fun animation. If you put him in a stun set and you give him the Fearsome Presence Mastery, which is the tier 6 on the defense track, um you get the best chance of stunning. You can also try to use um, Provoke. It's probably a less effective way of doing it. You can also try to use Frostbite sets, but that involves getting hit. But there is good synergy between, say, a Provoke set and a Frostbite set. Or a Stun set and a, Pro and a Frostbite set, and so on. So I do like to combo these when I can. If I were to build Scathix just for the secret room, which I might even I might even do, although he'd be better at, at uh, level 60. Right now he's stuck at level 50 because I can't prioritize him anymore. I have too many better champions to do. And honestly, I do not advise building somebody just for the secret rooms. You, you want to have a second reason as well because there are a lot of secret rooms. You got a lot of time. I know there are people out there that have managed to achieve all of the... Um, all of the Doom Tower champions by now, because they've stopped introducing new ones. Now they just give you uh, extra equipment for the forge, or extra materials for the forge. Oh man, my poor Broadma is not looking good. If he goes down, we could be in trouble. Although my Venomage is in regen gear. I'm now wondering if my Broadmaw is not in regen gear. I'd probably... You know what? 
I probably took him out of it. This is this is my bad. Because um, I use Pythion now as my main reviver. I just don't need Broadma anymore. He just he just has no place in the account. Unless you're restricted to epics. Um, and if I needed an epic reviver, it should have been him. I guess I need to double check his gear. I probably stripped him of the best regen gear, but I probably have some crappy regen gear I could put on him. Although at this point, we're close to five minutes in. We're most of the way through this area. I'm actually going to shut this down just to just so that we can A1 cycle. Try to get rid of him first. And we just A1 cycle so that we can make sure Venomage gets her... Uh, gets her AoE up right at the start of the next round, because she has a passive that reduces the damage that comes in. So now we can go full auto, we can target the enemy broad mod just to make sure he goes first, so nobody gets revived. I really don't want to see anybody getting revived at this point, because we're running out of champions. Jareg should be able to put up a decent amount of healing. Um, and Aox, the Rememberer, is kind of a fun champion. I, I like the way he, he just sort of puts poisons on enemies that attack him and uh, and extends the debuffs and all that. There's a lot of great synergy with Aox and anybody that puts out debuffs for, for this reason. So Aox and Venomage, between the two of them, probably have enough damage that, that we can get through this. Scathix was nice, but he was really just like the cleanser. So honestly, if we can... Uh, if we can stay uncontrolled, and it doesn't look like there's much in the way of crowd control on this third wave, we're fine. And we lost a reviver, but we're fine. I don't think any of the others are going to go down. Maybe Jareg will go down. Maybe. We could probably afford to lose him, though. Because um, Venomage is in a regen set. I built her to be able to solo Ice Golem. Um, I don't know if, if, if the way I have her built is actually good enough for soloing Ice Golem. I think it maybe fails some of the time, but it's pretty good. Come to think of it, I re-geared her because of that Sintranos boss. So she probably can't handle it. Because if uh, you have a champion in regen gear and they get hit by um, uh, uh, healing block, whatever it's called, heal reduction. 100% heal reduction. Which one of the Ice Golem minions does. That can give you a very bad time. Wow, this is taking a long time. Could you, could you please get through this guy? There we go. I believed in you guys. I, I knew you could do it. Anyway, this this looks like it's wrapping up pretty nicely. We've just got three Jazos. They're going to die very quickly. Um, so I think this is about all I have to say about this secret room. If you don't have Venomage and you're looking for other ideas... Um, and maybe, well, I mean, outside of the AoE stun set trick, then I don't know what to tell you. you you're going to need some way to, to clear through the rooms. If you can't, then you can't. Uh, but anyway, thanks for stopping by. See you on the next video. Take care.